Hi, and welcome to my channel Mondillo Lays. This is Ana Marie, and today I want to introduce the basic stitches of bobbin lace, which are cloth stitch, full stitch, and half stitch. I'm going baby steps on these videos because it's very important to have a strong base of knowledge. You should not run before you learn how to walk. If you're using green or blue paper for your pattern, I suggest you to stay away from those colors for your thread. I'll be using Finca thread number 16. Six pairs of beige, one pair of fuchsia, and two pairs of white. For the pattern, you can do it yourself. I photocopy graph paper into green paper. My squares are about four millimeters. Because we're using eight squares, I marked the left line and the right line. After that, I marked each of the corners of the square. Also, I numbered the lines to keep a track of the amount of lines that I make for each stitch that we're gonna practice today. Normally, I protect my patterns with transparent paper. I'm not gonna do this in this video to avoid the glare of the light. Finally, I use this tool to perforate my pattern prior to use it. It helps to place the pin when you're working on the pattern. Let's start by mounting the pattern. Then we place a pin in number one. In that pin, we're gonna put a pair of white, and my worker, the pink. We're gonna do a twist, cross, twist, cross. For this first line, when we are mounting, we're gonna close the pin with twist, cross, twist, cross. We put the second pin, and over here, we're gonna put a beige pair and we again do twist cross twist cross and we keep organizing ourselves another pin beige twist cross twist cross another pin and so on until you make it to number eight Number eight, we're gonna put a pin and our second pair of white bobbins. We're gonna close the pin with the same stitch, twist, cross, twist, cross. We're gonna put a pin underneath the eight because we're gonna start our first stitch. Our first stitch is cloth stitch. It's the simplest because you do the same all the time. We're gonna start by closing the pin with cross, twist, cross. And we place the bobbins over there. We're gonna move to the left. Every time you take the pair of bobbins that you're gonna work with, you make sure that those threads are straight. Cross, twist, cross. Pull the threads, cross, twist, crossed, cross, twist, crossed, cross, twist, crossed. Give it a little bit of thread to your worker, cross, twist, cross. When we get to the edge, we do the same, cross, twist, crossed. We place a pin.
cross, twist, cross, keep thread. We continue to the right, pin, left, pin, right, pin. Make sure that when you take the pair of bobbins that you're gonna work with, they're not twisted. If so, untwist them and work with them. Cross, twist, cross. Try not to throw the bobbins when you're working with them to avoid mistakes. Just put them softly down. I want to take a break to point out that my beach are in vertical line, all of them parallel. If they are cross, there's a mistake. If the worker doesn't go from left to right, right to left, there's a mistake. I'm going to continue. And I'm going to make a mistake on purpose in this next line so you could see how it looks. I'm going to do it in the center of the pattern. Over here, I'm going to twist the beige. That's one of the most common mistakes students make. The second mistake is they might twist the worker. I'm gonna do it in this moment. We twist the worker. I'm gonna zoom it so you can see how it looks. You see the mistake over here when we twist the beige? And over here, when we twist the worker, the fuchsia. I would suggest you to go back and undo the mistakes. Sometimes undoing is the best way of learning. And never, never, never Take the pins until you get to the pin. Meaning, don't take this pin out until I get to the pin. Uncross, untwist, uncross. Uncross, untwist, uncross. Uncross, untwist, uncross. Uncross, untwist, uncross. That's where the mistake is. So I continue doing cross, twist, cross. Do eight lines so you can see a square. Over here, we're gonna start with our next stitch. The full stitch is twist, cross, twist, cross. The same as for the cadeneta or braid. We're gonna move to the left. With this pair, we do twist, cross, twist, cross. The next pair, make a pull on the thread to make sure they are straight. Twist, cross, twist, cross. 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 And the last one, twist, cross, twist, cross. Pin. Always pull one first and then the other. And once in the center, we pull them. 
We're gonna close the pin with cross twist cross, the same as for the cloth stitch. Some moldilleras likes to cross the pin with twist cross twist cross, meaning the full stitch. I recommend that only if you're using thin thread like Finca Bolillos 40 or above. Specific occasions that I will recommend to close the pin with full stitch, and I will show you that in future videos. For now, let's do the full stitch and close the pins with cross twist cross. Full stitch, twist cross twist cross. Grab it, pull, twist cross twist cross. Twist cross twist cross. Twist cross twist cross. Twist cross twist cross. This one is twist, twist, cross, twist, cross. Pin. Pull one, pull the second. Cross, twist, cross. Let's move the row. Continue this left, right, left, right until you have about eight more lines I have now about the same size that I did for the cloth stitch the last stitch we're gonna learn is the half stitch like the name says is it's half the steps than for the full stitch it sounds simpler but it's where the students makes the most mistakes the reason is because the bobbins don't stay together. You will see. We're gonna move to the left by doing twist, cross. See that they separate? I suggest you to place the bobbin softly in your box so you make less mistakes. When you get to the edge, we're gonna do a full stitch. Twist, cross, twist, cross. And we're gonna close the same as for the other stitches. Cross, twist, cross. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. Twist cross, twist cross, twist cross, and at the edge, twist cross, twist cross, a full stitch. Cross, twist cross, twist cross, twist cross, twist cross. give you some tips so you can recognize if you're doing it right or if you have a mistake so you don't go further on the pattern instead you undo fix the mistake and continue for example students tend to make the mistake thinking that this is the pair they're gonna work with the one in my right hand however one of the bobbins goes to the right, the other one goes to the left. And this is the pair that belongs together. The other mistake is that the bobbins are messed in the box and they take the wrong bobbin. Or over here, instead of the left one, they take the right. And they, that gives it a swing that should not happen has to be straight and they should not be swinging.
The other tip is that is above the worker, the thread forms a cross. If there's that cross above the worker, you're doing it right. I suggest you to practice the half stitch as much as you can until you master it. It's not only pretty, but it saves a lot of time in your big projects. To finish the sample, I want you to do one or two lines of cloth stitch. Cross, twist, cross. The one we learned at the beginning. And now, let's make a couple of knots. Let's review how to make the knot. I take my left bobbin, hold it with your thumb, pass it over and under. My left bobbin, give it thread, pass it over and under. left bobbin over and under. I wanted to point out that our white bobbins stayed in the edges. I hope you like this video and if so, give it a like and share with your friends. I also invite you to visit my Etsy store. I wrote the link down below in the description. Have fun doing bobbin lace. And like I said to my students, have fun mundillando.